on today's Subnautica video, we are going to be going over a multitude of mods, like a little collection of mods, basically, that will essentially turn your Subnautica game a whole lot scarier, essentially turning it into a, well, maybe not into a full-blown horror game, but it will make your game a lot scarier and keep you on your toes a lot more. So without further ado, let's get into the first mod. Now the first mod that we're gonna be looking at is gonna be the Death Run Remade mod. Now I'm gonna explain, cause there's only one, there's like one specific feature that you want out of this Death Run Remade mod. You're not gonna be able to load up all your other like save games and whatnot, which is, you know, gonna be a little downside, but you know, you can have like a little horror playthrough for you some Nodka. You're gonna go to your options, so you're gonna go to mods, and then you're gonna find the Death Run Remade settings right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna turn off all the Death Run settings, you know, unless you wanna make your game needlessly harder. I have everything set back to normal. The only thing that you're gonna wanna keep on is the life pod uh modifications so what this mod does is it's going to allow you to change the spawn point of your life pod and it's going to make it random so you're going to make it random it's going to randomly spawn your life pod in a random spot around the map and you can also make your life pod sink which is going to make it sink all the way to the bottom of the ocean instead of floating and you can topple your life pod to make it you know like sort of tip over into an awkward position which will make you know which will make the start of your game a lot scarier all right, so our start is gonna be Land Ahoy, which does not sound that bad. So we can see my depth is going down because we are falling. Not sure where we're gonna hit, but whatever we do, whenever we hit the bottom, we're gonna know. Oh, we're gonna feel it. <laughs> oh, there it go, all right, all right. <laughs> there we go, all right, we hit the bottom. You can spawn in dang near any of these surface biomes. So <laughs> the start of your game can be quite interesting and a little bit scary depending on where you spawn in at. Now we can see that my game is a little bit darker and we're gonna get to the next two mods that is making that happen because it makes everything look a lot scarier. So with the Death Run Remade mod out of the way, we're gonna go on to our next mod. So the next mod that we have on today's list that's gonna help your game be a lot scarier is going to be a reshade called Kaiju's Reshade 2, or Kaiju Shader 2, I believe. That's the one I'm using. Now, technically, you can use any reshade that you want as long as it makes your game, like, scarier. I picked Kaiju's, like, Shader 2 because it makes the game a bit darker, colors are a lot richer while still, like, being able to see stuff because I don't want the game to be, like, pitch black. That is, until it turns night time which i'll show you in a second but we can see everything looks a lot richer just a tad bit scarier you know because everything's a lot more ocean is instead of it being like the regular subnautica colors because the subnautica colors are a bit lighter i would say base game subnautica ocean colors are like a bit lighter so this one actually gives it a more realistic take on the colors of this planet's ocean and whatnot so you know helps a lot you know all the all the colors are going to pop out a lot more but there's also going to be a lot more darker areas so let me just go along there's a cave right here i can show you exactly what i'm talking about so we head on into this little cave right here this is a bad example because it's not a deep cave let me find a deeper cave to show you all an example okay there's one right here all right, so we have this little cave right here and the safe shallows of all biomes. So we can already see this cave is a bit dark, you know, it's a bit a lot harder to see in here. So we head inside and just head down just a little bit. Now it's, it's really, really dark in here, aside from like the few things that illuminate this area and like these acid mushrooms right here. So it's gonna require the use of flashlights and other light sources whenever you're exploring caves a lot more whenever you have a reshade on. So let's just make it nighttime so y'all can see what it's gonna look like at nighttime with this reshade on. So night in three, two, one, boom. And now we're in the safe shallows. Everything is completely black dang there. All I can really see is like the sand without the light. And if we turn the light on, the lights are gonna make everything look way way scarier at night now because you know they don't illuminate that much anymore they can only really illuminate the ocean floor in front of you and yeah that's about it really so you're only really going to be able to see a few meters in front of you you're not going to be able to see things like super super far away unless they're lit up in the distance so yeah having a good reshade on is going to be you know one of the more important parts of making your subnautica experience a lot scarier because with the reshade it can change the entire basically the, the way your entire game looks as as we can see right now because we can barely see anything we're in the safe shallows of all biomes and with the reshade covered we can now move on to our next mod on this list now we're going to change the weather so the next mod on this list is going to be the epic weathers mod which is going to allow your game to actually have different weather and dynamic you know weather events so it can rain uh thunderstorms windy foggy etc now some weather events are going to affect your game a lot more than others so whenever it's raining or it's cloudy up above whenever you're underwater it's going to make the water a little bit darker you know obviously because the sunlight is being blocked out because right now it is currently raining i believe 
Yeah, right now it's currently raining. So down here, as we can see, the water is a lot darker. And the coolest thing about this is whenever you have a thunderstorm, so let's just set weather. Now the thunderstorm is especially going to affect your looks underwater because for one, it's gonna make everything a lot darker as it just did right now. And then whenever the lightning strikes, you're actually gonna be able to hear the thunder. Yeah, it'll occasionally shake your screen if you're near the surface of the water, like I'll show you right now. We're near the surface and our screen is shaking and it also lights up the water a little bit so if we turn it nighttime we can see it sort of like lights up the whole like ocean with the lightning as a thunderstorm would you know but yeah the weather mod essentially it'll just let you know new dynamic weather events be able to happen throughout your subnautica game which can amp up a lot of things especially at nighttime as we saw which you know can be terrifying if you are in a biome where there's like a creature let's say like there's a reaper swimming towards you and it's pitch black and then the thunderstorm comes in lightning lights up the water and you only see the reaper like flying at you for like half a second before it comes at you and starts grabbing you like that would be absolutely insane all right so we are currently looking at our next mod on today's list <laughs> that freaking abyssal monstrous being in the distance so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be a creature mod called the bloop and blaza mod which adds two new leviathans into your Subnautica game both equally as terrifying as one another we're looking at the bloop leviathan right now there are two versions of this bloop leviathan that you can find throughout the game this is the deep bloop leviathan which is the larger version of the bloop leviathan and then there's also the regular bloop leviathan which is you know a smaller version You'll find the deep blue leviathan in the deeper biomes in Subnautica. The regular blue leviathan, you'll find them in the more shallow areas. We can see the blue leviathan's mouth is one of his most terrifying features because he has multiple mouths. He has one, two, three. So what's that? He's got like four, three, four mouths inside of his one mouth, which is crazy. His teeth are going crazy. He's got some terrifying glowing eyes. And then the rest of his body is also glowing. And he's also extremely extremely large one of the bigger leviathan mods look how big his tail is oh my gosh this leviathan his mouth is always open like he can't really close his mouth so you'll see him swimming around like this at all times so the only way that he can really attack you is by swallowing you whole so if you're in a sea moth prawn suit if you're just swimming around regularly he can he can literally just walk up to you and just digest you and that's it you'll you'll die instantly i don't think he can eat you if you're in the cyclops though because he can't really like bite you he can only just swallow you so you know if you can fit in his mouth he'll fit you in his mouth but yeah this is the bloop leviathan let's look at the blaza leviathan all right this is the other leviathan that this mod adds into the game this is the blaza leviathan and you'll only find this leviathan in the different caves of subnautica which is you know where i am right now i'm in the lost river so the blaza leviathan way different than the bloop leviathan and it also has its own custom sounds he has a little mouth right here not as big but his teeth do look similar and are equally as scary. His eyes are also scary. He almost looks like he's blind. Overall, super terrifying Leviathan in general because, you know, super long snakes kind of scare me already. But if we just watch him move around, he also moves pretty fast as well because you can see how, look how fast his body is just like going up behind him. Testament to how fast he's moving around. And that sound you just heard, that was him making that sound. So super, super terrifying custom sounds as well. It sounds like somebody just bass boosted my ears, essentially. The Bloop and Blaz Leviathan, two super terrifying new Leviathans you can add into your game, and they'll spawn in various locations around the map. They spawn enough to where you'll be able to encounter them regularly. And with that, we can move on to our next mod. Now, the next mod we have on today's list is going to alter the behavior of the different creatures in Subnautica. So the next mod we have is going to be the Aggressive Fauna mod, which makes, <laughs> as it sounds, it's gonna make all the fauna in Subnautica a lot more aggressive and scary. So you can modify these settings by going to your options. So we're gonna go to options. I'm gonna go to mods. Okay, there it is, aggressive fauna. So we have the aggressive fauna settings right here. We can we can make it to where the changes only apply during the day or the nighttime. We have the aggression warnings, which you know warn us whenever creatures are starting to get more aggressive. We have music. We got detection radius. So the you know radius that creatures can detect you if they can detect you through terrain, through bases, will they prioritize the player? because they will like get more aggressive towards each other as well so there's a bunch of new changes that you can make to the different creatures in subnautica to make them to make them a lot more aggressive and a lot more you know like willing to chase you around and they'll chase you for longer periods of time as well now what i would probably do 
is uncheck the um the changes applied during the day and i would probably make it only apply during the night time so yeah that is the aggressive fauna mod and with that we can move on to our next mod all right so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the more leviathan spawns mod so what this mod does so what this mod does is it increases the amount of leviathans that spawn throughout your game and it's not going to just increase the amount of leviathans in the different biomes that you're in like that they already spawn in but if you head over to the options again we head over to our mods so we can change the reaper spawn intensity which would make more of them spawn in the game in general the same thing with ghost leviathan and we can also add variable spawns which will allow the creatures to actually spawn in a bunch of different areas you'll see more leviathans in different places than the spots you just regularly see them in if you have variable spawns on which you know you're definitely going to want on if you want to make your game again a lot more scary a lot more hectic in general because I am in the deep Grand Reef currently, and in the base game, there is most definitely not a ghost leviathan in this biome, but now there is, thanks to the more- Why are y'all all so loud, man? But yeah, thanks to the more leviathan spawns mod, there is now a Grand- There's not a Grand Reef. There is now a ghost leviathan in the deep Grand Reef, but yeah, that is the more leviathan spawns mod, and with that, we can move on to our next mod. So the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be a change to the Reaper's appearance called the Golden Reaper mod. So this mod changes the entire Reaper's appearance by making him black and white. So now he's he no longer has like that red color scheme that he had before. He's now like all the red on him is now black. And there's also some gold now on his back, which sort of like glows in the nighttime. Now, in my opinion, this makes the Reaper look a little bit scarier because, you know, it's like all black. It's like a black and white Reaper Leviathan, essentially, with the only part on his skin that glows being his back. Now, with the reshade on, <laughs> with the reshade on, the Reapers are already going to be hard to see. With this mod on, the Reaper, you know, he's still like pitch black. We can barely see him. I don't know if y'all can see him, but I know I can. I can still barely see the Reaper right now. But the only thing on the Reaper that you're going to be able to see if you have this appearance mod on and the reshade on is going to be his back. So you're just gonna see like a little glowing, little glowing creature flying towards you at nighttime. But yeah, this is the Golden Reaper Leviathan mod. It just makes the Reaper a little bit more terrifying. Gives them a more terrifying look, in my opinion, at least. With that, we can move on to our next mod on our list. I would also like to note that all these mods, you are gonna want to use them together to make your overall game like a lot scarier. Like you're not gonna, these mods aren't really gonna do too, too much if they're by themselves. Kind of why I put, I put all these mods like in one video, because it's more like a collection of all these mods together, which is gonna make your game a lot scarier. So the last mod that we're gonna be looking at is gonna be the de-extinction mod, which adds 19 new creatures into Subnautica, both super small creatures, like the one we're looking at right here, that's a small one. And then we also have these more medium-sized creatures right here. These are called Grand Gliders. Then we have a larger-sized creature down here, the Stellar Thalassian. I believe that's what this one is called. It's almost like the um, they're like the reef backs of this mod because they essentially just swim around with their mouths open. They don't really do anything. They kind of just chill, stay out of everybody's way. There's two versions of these specific types of creatures. There's the Stellar one, and there's also the Jasper one that you can find in the Lost River biomes and deeper cave biomes. And there's also a Leviathan that this mod adds into the game, which is going to be the Gopher Leviathan. And we can see him sort of in the distance right there. It's another one of those new creatures. It's like these little like Pokemon balls. All right, there we go. So this is the Gopher Leviathan, the new, the new Leviathan that this mod adds into the game. Super, super terrifying. All these creatures have their own custom sounds and these creatures were cut creatures i believe from the original subnautica game because these were supposed to be in subnautica and then they got cut out giant terrifying fin and he also has a baby right there next to him he's getting attacked by his own baby that could not be me imagine getting attacked by your own child now the creatures that i just showed aren't the only creatures that this mod adds to the game but they're because there's so many of them i'm not going to show them all but it does add a ton of new i'll spawn another one in hold on pyram base and this is one of the other creatures that the de extinction mod adds to the game this is called the pyram basis he's sort of like passive slash neutral he kind of only attacks and that way right there, like whenever he like farts on you, sort of like the gasopod, but you know, he's actually prettier than the gasopod. So. so this mod adds a ton of new looking creatures and you'll be able to find these creatures all throughout your game. Essentially every new biome, every new biome, what? every biome that you go into from now on, you'll probably see a new creature in, whether it's the safe shallows, the grand reef, which can add a whole new level of terror to your game because now you have to learn 
you know, a bunch of new creatures. You have to figure out which creatures are going to be passive, which creatures are going to be, you know, defensive, which ones aren't going to do anything to you, which ones will like start attacking you out of nowhere. Add a bunch of new creatures in the, into the game that you'll be running into left and right that you'll have to, you know, learn just like you had to learn with the Reaper Leviathan, Bone Sharks, etc. But yeah, there's the, the Extinction mod is the last mod on our list for our horror, you know, making our Subnautica game a lot more terrifying in general. I would also like to point out that all these mods are compatible with one another, which is by like my overall intention was for you to use all these mods together. And yeah, that is about all I had for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you have any other mods that'll make, you know, your Subnautica game a lot more terrifying, a lot more suggestions that I didn't put on this list, feel free to let me know in the comments so we can all make our games a lot more terrifying in general so we can, you know, scream and be scared and whatnot. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.